Good evening and welcome to another edition of the Cronkite Sports Report. I'm Ryan Bennell. 11 months after tearing his ACL, Kyler Murray was officially activated to the Cardinals 53-man roster today. Murray is on track to start Sunday against the visiting Falcons and got some first team reps in practice today. It's definitely an understatement to say that the team is excited for Murray's return and that excitement started with watching him grow through this tough year. Yeah, I feel like, you know, with him being back, you know, it's a chance to see, you know, what we got, uh, what we could do. Um, and as an offense, keep growing, keep learning each other for sure. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't really miss a day. Like, I asked him, like, a few weeks ago, I'm like, do you get any off days? Like, because every time I see him, he's been working ever since the offseason. So it, he, he's, been, he's been good. ASU football travels out west to take on UCLA in Los Angeles this weekend. With just two wins on the season, the Sun Devils are looking to get on the right side of the scoreboard any way they can. And they might just have a few tricks up their sleeve. Kenny Dillingham knows that protection is the name of the game against an elite UCLA defensive line. So at practice this week, the Sun Devil head coach is looking into some new ways to move the ball. Hey, they're difficult to block. Uh, that's why they're top 10 in the country in rush defense, top 10 in the country in, in sacks. So because they're difficult to block. So, you know, we can say, well, let's line up and run the zone. Okay, cool. Like, you can see how that works for us, right? But we're going to have to be creative uh, with, you know, how we throw it, how we run it, and the things we do in order to, you know, play to our strengths. After last season's strong start, Bobby Hurley isn't lowering his expectations for his squad. As a man who experienced much success in his college days at Duke, Hurley is pushing his team to set high standards for themselves. This is the last season of Pac-12, and we talked about that, and just, you know, what are we going to do this year, you know, with this being the last year? How are we going to attack this season and, uh, and, and make the most out of it? Uh, so our last chance to win anything, you know, uh, in the Pac-12 for, for Arizona State basketball, I don't see, you know, any banners, uh, you know, in our arena. So uh, hopefully that's, uh, I think that's how the guys have been thinking. We'll see what Hurley and his new squad can do at their season opener tonight in Chicago for the Barstool Sports Invitational. This will be the first time we see many new faces and some familiar ones with five returnees, including guard Frankie Collins. The roster now includes 11 newcomers, seven being transfers, and joining Hurley on the bench will be four new coaches. Tip-off tonight is set for 7.30 against the Mississippi State Bulldogs. The high school state football playoffs for the big schools kick off tomorrow, including the Open Division Championships. Two powerhouse teams in Hamilton and Chandler will be making a run at the title. The two rivals played each other last weekend to determine their seeding. Cronkite News reporter Kenji Ito has more on this historic rivalry. Hamilton arrived just 10 minutes before kickoff to face Chandler in the battle for Arizona Avenue. The Huskies practiced on their own field to avoid any chippiness ahead of this rivalry game that's been going on for 24 years. But with open division seating on the line, the Wolves made the bigger statement winning in a lopsided affair 49-13. You know, that was the biggest thing that we wanted to do this game. We wanted to get that trophy back to where it belongs. You know, it feels real good. Running back Khalil Valentine brought his A game as he scored three touchdowns. It was a matchup that he marked on his calendar because of the rivalry between the two schools. It definitely was a lot in my mind because I've been played against these guys since my freshman year. They didn't play my sophomore year. I was hurt my junior year. So I definitely wanted to come out and be able to play against these guys. And I, I think I show what I can do. Having lost to Hamilton the last two years, this victory not only stopped the Husky streak, but it was a defining moment for Chandler football this season. We played Highland, we played Basha, we played Hamilton. We play, we play a great schedule that helps us prepare for nights like this. That's why I'm so proud of my kids. Now that they secured the number four seed, the Wolves are ready for the open division playoffs. I mean, honestly, I got, I got nothing, no message for them. I mean, the scoreboard speaks enough. I mean, we're just gonna come out, whoever is next, just worry about them. Not really look forward to those two, three other games ahead of us. We're just worrying about who we got next next week and just go from there. Chandler will face fifth seeded Highland in the opening round of the playoffs. In Chandler, Kenji Ito, Cronkite News. It's USA versus Canada in a huge rivalry game at Mullet Arena. The U.S. women's national team hosts their, fo their foes from north of the border in the first of this seven game series. The rivalry series was introduced by USA Hockey and Hockey Canada five years ago and has turned into a must-see competition. The final game of this series last year was played before a record-breaking crowd of nearly 15,000 in Seattle. The teams will play two games here in the U.S. in November. 
for, before heading north for Canada for four games in December and February. The final game will be played February 11th in Minnesota. Tune back in tomorrow for more exclusive coverage on this iconic matchup on ice. That wraps up your Cronkite Sports Report. As always, I'm Ryan Bennell. Aaron and Alex, back to you.